What's going on everybody? CVH here for Channel Earth Power. He's behind the camera. What's going on YouTube? And we have yet another deck profile for you for our Dual Masters meta. We are playing with a 40 card format with a ban list that'll, uh, details will be in the description for that. Um, but we were messing around with Wave Strikers and uh, Spencer Swan was over and we were brewing some stuff and this is what we landed on for a uh, pretty aggressive version of Wave Strikers. I would call it mostly aggro if I had to fit it into a box, but it's kind of on the cusp. Um, and it really likes to play for the board and use cards like Azra and Sapien Tark uh, to just be huge powerhouses on the board that are really sticky, hard to deal with for most decks. Um, and once it has board dominance against another aggressive deck, or even just 6,000 power creatures against a control deck, then you really start breaking those shields. So 40 cards, 4 of everything, uh, a pretty tight Nature Light Fire deck. Um, we sort of landed on curving out mostly at 3 when we were playing a more traditional Wave Striker deck. Uh, I got Cranium Clamped on turn 4, and I was hard stuck at 3 mana, but I kept top decking the 3 drops, and it was just enough to win the game. Um, and I won that game against Control, and then we were thinking, well, if we only need the 3s to win against Control, we certainly don't need the higher cost cards against an aggro deck. So, I don't really know what the, what niche yeah. they're serving here. <laughs> yeah, when Killsteen existed. I mean, Killsteen was always just the win card. Like, you put it down on the board, now everything has yeah. plus five. And again, Wave Strikers require three on board, so getting to the late game, keeping them all alive so that you could kill Steen, just became difficult. Like, that's where this deck lost the majority yeah. of the time. And then the realization came when it was just... I think we went two into Sapien Tark into an Azra, and then Sapien Tark just ran the board, and mm -hmm. the deck still having Killsteen and everything in it just capped at three after getting Cranium Clamped, and it just won because yeah. three drops, 6,000 power creatures are very hard to deal with until you get to about turn five or six. <laughs> so yeah, that, so the, was, that was the realization. Yeah, and Pyre Fighter, of course, gives you some inevitability against control decks, most of which can't regenerate shields in this game, so you'll eventually draw one if you can get your opponent down to one or zero shields and it'll close for you. Uh, the only other things that are more than three, um, because you really do want to always hit a two drop, always hit a three drop, and then on turn four, either play maybe a four drop, but maybe just another three, maybe yeah. two two, something like that. Just get the Wave Striker on line uh, on turn four for sure. Um, Skyscraper Shell is amazing to race other aggressive decks because they don't really, well if it's a strict aggro deck they don't care about having the mana and you just need to get things off of their board and get your Wave Strikers online that turn. Uh, Flame Trooper is good in pretty much every matchup as long as it's active. It's an insanely high tempo card. And it's the card that deals with Taj, which yeah. is kind of this deck's only weakness if you're trying to lock them with Sapien Tark. Yep, kills every blocker that's played by that stage of the game, and it dodges things like Searing Wave, Crimson Hammer, so it's just like pretty hard to deal with on its own right. Holy Odd, just in case, but we're really never getting to six mana. We're basically playing that from shields as sort of like a Hail Mary sometimes, and just the oh, threat yeah. of it makes people scared. And, and that's weakness. right. It yeah. just keeps them off your shields and gives you an out if you end up stalling somehow. Yeah, and it's also light mana, because really the only other light cards we're playing are the <laughs> Merleys and the Azura, so that's right. your planes if you're looking for it. Right. Um, but really cool deck. Um, don't really want to be getting to the turn 7, 8+, plus because that's when the real removal starts coming out, so you just apply insane amounts of pressure on turns like 2 through 5, which is where like, you know, 4 and yeah. 5 when you get things online. And uh, those are the turns that Control's going to have the hardest time dealing with your stuff, and that's when you really want to apply the most pressure and set up to win the game. Yeah, you guys use the word zoo, and I think that's what this deck just kind of qualifies as from just other games, Lingo. It yeah. just kind of hits like a train because everything becomes huge, and it's just way stickier. Yeah. Way stickier. I mean, I, you look at, like, Ganta. This deck just makes Ganta look small and weak, which yeah. is really neat. Now, granted, if your opponent plays a Gaunt and you just have one of these, don't just like start hitting shields. You're probably gonna, <laughs> you're probably yeah. gonna lose. This deck isn't yeah. just pure aggro. It's it's there to set up, and on four, you just you go yeah. off. So then you can just. It's, it's amazing how easy it takes control of the board for a deck whose only spell is something you're not really ever gonna play. Right. But uh, yeah, it's a really cool creature focused aggressive deck um, with a lot of cards that yeah. you don't normally play because they're all wave strikers, and yeah. we thought they were bad, but. <laughs> and the uh, the final shout out here is to the uh, summer championship, uh, which is where we pulled this profile from. An another Instagram account, and I'll forget it, but I'll throw it in the description down below. Yeah. Um, but they did a summer championship tournament, and I think this deck placed third. The difference was is it wasn't running light; it was playing the darkness variant. Yeah. And we just went for just straight again the the zooey aggro build, which yeah. is uh, it's just been a ton of fun, like CBH said. So that deck was like. Wildly different. I never right. play Darkness in this. I don't want to discard cards. I'll do that in other decks. But yeah. yeah. Try it out. Let us know what you think. Leave a comment. Leave a like. And uh, we'll probably grind a couple games. And you can see how it performs in a later video. Or an earlier video. I don't know. <laughs> Live your best life. Yeah. See you guys next time. Peach. Peach.